but I'm also going to share with you that if you keep your heart open, miracles are going to happen and you are going to be transformed and taken to a much higher place than you are today right now. But if you resist it and you're really trying to hang on to all of it and you buy into your mind freaking out, it's going to be hell and there's going to be a lot of suffering. But no one thing that the same force, the same intelligence, Her Majesty, the Supreme Being that has given all of us life is the one that brought you into this marriage, is the one that put everything together for you. And it is the same one that is making everything fall apart. If you can trust that and recognize the presence of God that put this together and now is tearing it apart, then you will transform and, and give yourself a major chance of realization to go into this place of bliss by surrendering to the will of God and by staying in your heart and staying in this place that something else is going to come and happen in your life. Something is going to take care of you. Doors will open up to you no matter how dark things seem to be. And this is a part of your path and your karma. This is a part of your spiritual evolution to come to this. This is actually not a bad place. This is actually a blessing. Because what God is doing right now to you is destroying the illusion that you used to live in. It's taking and ripping that illusion away. And it's going to bring you to this place of realizing so you're forced to look at what is real. What is it that doesn't change versus things that change? So maybe you have this opportunity to recognize and bring your attention inwards towards that which is always here with you, that which is the source of true love. And you find that comfort and that love here within yourself after all the turmoil that you go through. You will be taken care of, my dear sister. You will not be left out in the world, in the cold, to be destroyed. Stay in this place of love of God. Ask for God to give you strength and to stay with you. Keep feeling the presence. Keep your attention, bring here. Rather than taking your attention out to the place of being a victim, Because it's kind of like every day you're getting close to your execution. It's like they're walking you to the end of the line where you're going to be executed. And you're really resisting to get to that point because you think your life is going to end. Your life as you know it will end. But something much bigger and greater is waiting for you on the other side. It's the death of the ego. It's the death, death of the I thought. It's the death of the one who thinks is separated from everything else. That's the one is going to be executed. But once that one is dead, then you realize the true part of yourself. You recognize the love which is within yourself that presence, that nobody can take it away from you.
the courts, the divorce, losing your children. Once you discover that, you will not lose anything. Life will come back and give you everything again. But you have to go through this death. Okay, let me take a look at a couple of our messages here. I went through severe trauma from young age all the way to 13, was shattered, but thank, thankfully have always been inclined to turn towards creator source, have received many blessings, guidance, has been long winding journey and finally at age 67, beginning to settle into my center. Deeply appreciate support in doing that through you. You not making it about you. Thanks, Zaratustra. Okay. The self, Jesus said, wombats let go to save our soul. Oops, lol. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> I met a young lady last week uh, in Sedona, Arizona, and the traumas that she has gone through was mind blowing. The stories that I heard from her of at age witnessing her grandmother being beaten by the grand by the grandfather, and at age four she sees that the bone of grandmother on her hand was broken out, and a four year old gets to see that. At age six, stepfather is about to strangle her mom and her mom got blue and almost died and she jumps over the, the stepfather and yelling that, please don't kill my mom. At age 14 or 15, being raped, raped by the stepfather. I mean, the stories I heard was just like really heartbreaking and and it was like unbelievable. And if you're not, and I could see like this person has come to light, very kind, very loving, has come to the spirit. She's not bitter, she's not angry. It was so beautiful to see the transformation of this person. When a similar person brought this story to Ramana Maharishi, Maharishi would always say that sometimes, or a lot of times, when we have to go to this kind of traumatic events in our first 20 years, 25 years, 30 years of our lives, or maybe longer, is for the advanced souls those who have come to the last stage of their lives, this may be the last time you're going to take a human form and live. So you're burning your karma in that first 20, 30, 40 years of being beaten, being raped, being abandoned, being kicked around, and you're burning that karma. You're Existence has speeded up. So you don't have to come back for another life. And if you don't go in a dark side, which in her case, she didn't, it brought her to the light. So the way from a higher perspective in the spiritual world to look at it is, is that, that you are doing your sadhana and you're burning your karma. So you're done with that. And from then on, when the light comes and realization comes, self-realization, the knowledge and wisdom comes, then you work yourself. You already paid your karma. So now you're working your way towards the light. <clears throat> 